Evening all, and welcome back to Timberborn, playing here with our Iron Teeth. Uh, we are in a drought, which has just potentially dried the land up here, but conveniently, um, that's very convenient, that's, that's done it. Uh, it hasn't actually stopped. The, oh, is it, it has shrunk down now. Oh, okay, I, I thought the river down here, but okay, we're delayed. It was delayed. Let's open the floodgates and let some water through so that we can do things here. And, and speaking of water, this is the first thing I want to do. I have observed like this beaver right here anyone who works up here has to come all the way back to town to get a drink so i'm thinking why don't we put a little tiny um water source up here just so our beavers don't have to travel so far to get a drink um, and conveniently you have actually managed to cut through enough um of the stuff there for me just put it right there but there we go and then that can be that can be filled up we'll actually set that as a priority um, I'm going to unset the large one as priority because I don't think we necessarily need to. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think that needs to be there. So, um, uh, yeah, we uh, rather than having that as the priority, we will actually come and have one up here as a priority, so we can actually make sure that up here, and then the beavers that are up here can go, "Hey, I need a drink." Oh, it's right there. There we go. Awesome. Food they still got to travel all their back for, but I don't think they eat as much as they drink. But probably going to be okay for that one there. Um, yeah, I'm pausing here because um, uh, I've got a comment about building more science buildings, and uh, I tried pronouncing the name in the live stream. I don't know if I got it right, so I don't know if I want to here, but I, I will give it a try anyway. Um, uh, Buabdella. Buabdella Redha which I hope is correct. Um, uh, mentioned that we're, because we have unemployed people and we're getting more unemployed people as time goes on, we could build more science to get more science coming in quickly. Um, that's a good idea. Uh, I do kind of want to get a hauling post with more workers in it as well. Uh, but if we put in some more science here, we can always turn them on and off as required. So, um, so let's do that. Let's build a couple more science blocks we'll build two more uh, we'll set them as low priority so they don't come and build them that quickly and they're, they're not that important and then should we require workers we can just kick them out of science and go elsewhere so yeah okay okay so there's that one done so what are we gonna do now we've cleared up all the trees up here i don't know why i have the lumberjack backs up here you aren't required anymore Ah, oh, because you were chopping down those trees over there. But you can't chop down any more trees over there because you are out of range. That's fine. So let's remove you. Kaboom. Don't need you anymore. Um, neither of these can get them trees over there as well. So we might as well stop chopping down trees up there. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. We're, and we're good. We're good for wood. Wood, wood. We are very good for. We have. We have 180 stored here, and we have 176 stored there. So we're good for that. Uh, I keep missing when these tick over to remove them. Uh, so, and I want to remove them, but I might put them might elsewhere. We might have a breeding area somewhere. Uh, our gatherer has stopped. We've still got loads of berries. Let's just speed up time here. Um, Right, let's put in the path that we can do before more saplings come along. Uh, in fact, we don't want the path there, do we? No, we want the path one over. One over and down down there. We might redesign that, I think. Yes. Yeah. We, might, we might redesign this path coming down here at some point. Let's go this way down. Whatever. Doesn't matter. And then we're going to build a suspension bridge along here. Now we have some research. So why don't we do that? I mean, it's purely aesthetic. It's not important. Right. So, yes. Uh, where were we? Sorry. Uh, disturbed by a phone call. Um, we were building a drawbridge. drawbridge. Not a drawbridge. We were building a, 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 a suspension bridge. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would have done seven, wouldn't I? What an idiot. That makes life awkward, um, especially because the center one's so deep. <laughs> Two, 
or range down here? Yeah, we should really be looking at probably putting the second district over here. Hmm. Hmm. What about... One, two, three, four. If we unlock the three bridge... 400 research, yeah. Um, and and this, is, this is purely aesthetic, so... If we did that... And then did that... We get a lovely little little bridge going over there, and then we need to put a uh, like a platform in the centre. And my reasoning for that is because then you can put a uh, oh, what's the word? A district gate between the two, and it looks quite nice. It looks quite nice. It's something I, I did on the live stream, so I like that. But we need to unlock the triple platform as well. Where we could put in double double platform. double-double platform would be okay. Yeah, yeah that, that'd work. That'd work. Unfortunately, we can't get to here to build it because we have no way to get down into the water here. And we want to get down into the water here because we want to get along here and do more stuff down here. So, let's also look at building stairs down here. Get down here, and then you can get access to that and that'll be fine okay. and then when we come along here to build things i just need to remember to build stuff in the correct order so we want to build the next lot of stuff is going to build after this river joins so that it will backflow up this river here we want to do it down here and probably just get as much as we possibly can into it which means here because that's the highest there so um is taller than this one so we actually want to come back even further it wants to be up to that level there okay these are way way ahead from where we're going so this this is future potential stuff um so we want to build it here um yeah put it there like that don't know how we build that without them doing all the weird things. And then we'll do triple floodgates above there with a path there and there. But the path will be behind the floodgates. Or we can go back one and put the path in front of the floodgates. I think I prefer putting the path in front of the floodgates. It's nice to walk over a path and look down and see all the water flowing below you rather than just have Okay. But then again, you can walk over over the top of it and be on a on, on, on lake. So we'll do that one behind. Um, these are way too far away from our, um, our construction. So I'm going to set the bottom three to be the highest priority. And the top one's below that. And then we'll unlock the triple But that's, that's just a friendly reminder of that's where we're going to build the dam later. Miles away yet. We've got to do something over here. Um, right, so this can be built, this can be built, this can be built, so we're all good for that. Um, and then we want to potentially, I mean, I don't know if I need to put a path in here. I don't think I do. I think we're good. Look at our pathing structure. Not really. We need to get rid of that tree. We need to get rid of that tree. I am still having the game run on slow speed. Let's speed that up. Let's go for it. Also, we're going to drop the work hours down to 16. Um, to try and get our social life up a bit. Um, because social just means that they, they walk faster. Uh, actually, no, social just breathe. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ooh, run out of water again. Wasn't paying attention. Wasn't paying attention, sorry. Social life. Uh, hang on. Let's see what happens. Social life does not have any effect... To 
the Antique Beavers. Because they don't breed. So having long work days is absolutely fine. So building this on top of here was kind of pointless. They don't really want social life. But they've got it anyway. They've got it anyway. We're, we're, we're doing that anyway. There we go. Need to keep an eye on this because we are using a lot of water. We could turn the pumps off, but um, it was pointed out that water inside a tank doesn't evaporate. So by pumping the water out of the river into the tank, it means our beavers have more to drink. Yes, the land dries off and food might die, but food could be replanted. And you always get enough time between dry seasons to get at least one lot of crops in, no matter what crop you build or plant, sorry. Would you please come and destroy this farm? Thank you, there we go, okay. So that is plugged into there. Now, these bridges require... Oh, these ones don't require metal. The, the larger ones require metal, as time goes on. Uh, we've also got the large metal platform, which I want to unlock and have a look at. because uh, That one is uh, four tall with a three by three on top. This one is five tall. And I'm assuming it's got a five by five on top. And if that's the case, we could put it in here and it will basically bridge an entire river. Which I think would be fantastic if it is the case. I don't know. It might be five tall and be a three by three still. I don't know. But it just looks larger. But we will, we will find out. We will find out. We do have metal blocks. And this is full of water, which is great. Um, let's click on this. And prioritise it for workers. That's cool. It actually shows you on the list there how tall it is. So that's, so it, it, they actually do drag it down. So that's got 15 scrap metal left in it. Um, and there are berries up here as well, so if they want any food, they can get berries quickly from here. Um, and we're going to go home. How many iron do we have? We have 13 iron. How much do we need for an engine? Well, we need 400. We can unlock it. And we need 20. So we're close to doing an engine. So we can replace these four with an engine, which is fantastic because it means we can have more beavers um, doing other things. Oh, and the river's dried out again. That. Blow. We can also start looking at making some dynamite. And then putting in little pits down here. Uh, in the center. I mean, you can, you can, we, we need to unlock dynamite. 600 to do. But um, you can put in uh, like a pit there, one there, one there. Every every couple right in the centre of the river. I can't do it under here because I can't see it now to do it. Although, there is this option here. Which I think if we go down far enough. Yeah, actually if we go down like, all the way. Boom, boom, shows underneath stuff. So then we can build under here. So we can put little sticks of dynamite underneath here. We just need a way for our beavers to get into the water. That's easy. A little little uh, stairway would be fine. And then they can blow holes. And the holes just leave like a one deep um, puddle, essentially, which keeps everything green. Like a little a little tiny trick to, to do it. It's, um, it's really quite useful. So let's put in a stairway. We might as well put it in here. Seems like a good, nice place to go, just so you can get into the river. And now we're going to open that up all the way. And hopefully we have enough water to not worry about. Yeah, we're going to come out the drought next time here. So, so yeah, we definitely need to, I mean, we could we could absolutely blow this up or totally, totally deeper. I don't know if I can actually do it underneath these because potentially you'd be making the thing deeper and I can't delete these because they've got buildings on top. So we might have messed up with that. But we could always block this pool here and make this pool deeper and then block this here and make this pool deeper. So we've got water up there supplying this one and water down here supplying these ones. It just means the stuff over here is going to get a bit wet, a bit dry. But that's not bad because then we could potentially do other things um, over here. Um, I mean, 
we got this one tile here with a tree on it, which is just gonna have a path on it. We could blow that down and down and down and have it like 3D. Buy the buildings. Buy the building. Where's the building? Oh yeah, down there. Buy the building. That makes sense. Let's zoom that one up to 0.5. Because everything's just flowing over far too quickly, but that's fine. And our bridges are done. Our bridges are done. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, and these want to be set to 0.5. There we go. Awesome. And then potentially this will actually be a lake along here because it won't be a river because we'll block the stream off down, down, downstream. And uh, it'll be awesome. They can get in and out there so they can go swimming if they want to go swimming. Awesome. The water level is just bobbing up and down a lot. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So we still only have 30 metal. Why do we only have 30 metal? Why aren't you... Why aren't you working? Aren't you working? Oh, because we have 13 metal blocks and that's all we can store. Oh, we're not using anymore. Ah, right, okay, so we need to produce more metal. We need we need to use metal somewhere. Or we need to build a storage. That's what we was going to do. Build a small warehouse there. No, not there. A small warehouse there. And then we'll just have the small warehouse do um, uh, metal. Store metal blocks. Yeah, that's why that's not working. So they're coming all the way down here for food. They're not going for the rest. They don't... They don't, um... They don't want to eat berries. They want to eat the other food, obviously. Which makes sense, I suppose. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. So... So we need we need to work on explosives now because we wanna we wanna do something here as well. Um, that is right there. Ugh. Do kind of want to put it under that path, although we can't because of the bridge. You can't actually blow it under the path, so we'd have to do it probably back here somewhere. I mean that centre path looks like a good idea. Blow all the way through there. It's one deep. Stuff, although I do kind of want to do it here, um, which we could do. Oh, no, we let water through. Ah, where to put it? Where to put it? We could do it right here as well, but then it would flow. It would flow both directions. We'd have to block off the uh, the water down here somewhere, so we can store enough for it. Probably right here. Um, so let's see here. So if we're going to do it right here, so that's up by one. It's just up by one. So we don't want to store too much here, because otherwise we'll flood the area. So we just want to put in a double floodgates here. At the end. Uh, just double floodgates along there. Or we could put taller floodgates in and... Uh, Are you really building that? How? How are you building that? How, how does that work? How? Oh, beavers. Okay, we're going to put a double one in. That's fine. That's fine. We'll put a double one in, and then we'll build a bridge over the top of it. Somehow, we'll have to blow some rock out up here. Um, but you can't get to these ones, can you? No? You can apparently get to that one, but can't get to that one. I don't know how they're building that. I really don't know how they're they're what they're doing. Just just throwing the logs down and using beaver magic to make it land in exactly the right place. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Weird beaver ways. Weird beaver ways. Um, right. So explosives. Let's look at explosives, shall we? Uh, we're okay for planks. We're okay for gears. This is fine, we've got 22. Oh, I've done it again, this is going to get filled with berries. No. Metal blocks. Oh. Oh. 
oh, I really wish you could just like delete the berries that are in here. Just going, just, just throw them out. Just throw them out. But alas, no. So this is filled up with 107, so 87 berries. God damn berry storage. Kind of here, didn't it? Yeah, at least this is empty for berries now. Okay, and we're kind of filled on grilled potatoes, but not carrots. That's fine. Okie doke. Okay, so, so we're storing stuff here. We got 20. What do we need for the for the engine? We need 20 and 400 science. Let's unlock the engine. Blop. Yes. The engine is 3 by 3. Awesome. So we can now potentially get rid of all these. So before anyone comes to work in the morning, let's remove all of this. That's why I really wish you could get your stuff back. Get, get your money back. And we're going to build our first engine. Yeah. With a path going around it. Engine produces 200. This requires 250. So it's exactly the same as having the four things there. But it burns wood instead. And that's fine. We have a tree farm, which is doing pretty well. So, okay. Here we go. Let's go, beavers. Let's go. Uh... And that, that does mean that there's only going to be three people working up here. But that's fine. That's fine. We don't have to worry about it. Okay, so that's, that's doing... I mean, this, is, this keeps flooding up and down. The, the water level is just up and down, up and down all the time. Um, so what do we need to unlock explosives? We need the explosive factory for 400. Click. Now this requires 150. So two of them require 300, and this produces 200, so that's not really going to work. Oh, oh, we also need paper. We need to get paper. Paper requires 80. Let's unlock that as well. So we can put the paper and the explosive next to each other, and then an engine next to it, and that's fine. That's what we're going to use this area up here for. So I'm going to put in another lumberjack flag um, right here on the end. And then we are going to say, would you be so kind as to cut down... All those trees, all those trees here. There's only a few here, so you don't really need to many of them. Two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, just chop down all the trees. Here we go. Here's the engine. Awesome. That is using logs uh, to run this. Um, and I think it stops at night because no one works in here. Um, or it might not, because the supply apparently lasts for ages, so it, it burns one log an hour. That's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. That's way more wood than I expected. Um, stop. It's maths time. Uh, so that burns one hour and he's 24 logs a day. Maple trees produce eight logs. Eight, 16, 24. You need three maple logs a day to grow. Okay, and they take 24 days to grow. So... That means you 24 times 3. No, no, 24, not 4 times 3. 24 times 3. Seven, so I need to have planted 72 maple trees just to be able to run that one engine. Foot power is way, way deeper. Um, Yeah, I need to have planted 72 to do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, 16 times 7 is 112. So we have enough maple trees to keep that engine going. We shouldn't run out of wood if my maths is correct which it is known to not be. Many occasions it's known to not be. So I'm thinking about maybe a second tree farm already up here. Um, uh, birch trees are just not worth doing. 
Uh, I know they grow quicker, but they're only one log per nine days. Pine's a nice, it's two in 12. Maple just so much better. Um, we're also a long way away from that. We, we need to look at getting green things going on here. So, so I was going to build a second engine, which means we need 144 trees just to keep the engines going if we had two of them. to be dropping down three trees a day so yeah we need to so yeah so this these trees here are enough to keep that one engine going um yeah i think we're gonna go back to foot power for the other ones um until we can get a massive tree farm going somewhere uh, i mean potentially if we can flood this river we can add more to this or we could do the whole boom thing and boom this entire path out and boom this down here all the way to the end um, and let it flood over into here uh, and that would have a strip which would give us even more and then we can plant more trees along here that's potential future I think right now to make explosives I don't want to do another engine because I don't I mean we've got enough there to do a second engine I'm just concerned we don't have enough to do it and sustain ourselves the trees here as well <sighs> right what do you think what do you think? I'm, we're going to leave this episode here and I'm going to leave you with a wonderful question. Should we go with foot power, which is, is you know, guaranteed working uh, in order to get our paper mill, we need 80. In order to get the explosives, we need 150. Um, so that's four of them uh, to run just under power or five of them to run over power. Um, so that would be five power wheels with five workers which is food and all them big pieces we got we got, we got workers for it to run it or do we build another engine and then build another tree farm and get the tree farm going maybe build up here maybe look at doing something up here um but we got this loud up here i kind of was hoping to clear this out and put the grain up here um although we could put grain down here that wouldn't be a problem we could build a second district down here for grain and just have a grain bread district and export the bread that wouldn't be too bad. Put grain down here, or we could potentially put a tree farm down here or up here. We've got we've got options. We've got options. I do kind of like the idea of blowing this out here, but we need the explosive first. So what do we do? Do we go power wheels, or do we go engine? Let me know what you think, and we will build whatever the general consensus is. Because I'm fine with either. It both have the challenges. Obviously, the power wheels just means we need to get more food going. Uh, the engine means we need to get more tree farms going and uh, I like the engines, the engines are unique for this factor so so we will see, so yeah we'll leave this one here, we'll come back next time and we will carry on from there so thank you very much for watching I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun <laughs>